Hola. My name is Fernando. I'm coming from Mexico. Don't worry, I will speak in English. You know, English is my second language, so probably you will not understand something, and probably it's in Spanish. So what I was trying to do is put everything in a writing form, so you don't understand me, you can read on the screen. Okay? I am the director of the Educational Technology Program, and I would like to present to you uh, my experience. Uh, I am in a project where we are developing an innovative technology using OER uh, together with uh, mobile resources to be delivered to our um, graduate students so they can have um, methodolo methodological tools to conduct educational research. So it's a big project and it is funded with uh, institutional, governmental, and private uh, resources. Well, you know that OER is an important movement, and we are here in this conference. You already have the chance to uh, listen a lot about this. Well, what is Tecnológico de Monterrey? It's a private institution in Mexico, and it's pretty important in Latin America, and maybe, or probably, you already have heard about this institution, and we have more than 20 years working with distance education in different formats and models. And also, we are pretty interested in OER stuff since uh, five years ago, so we have developed different things related to OERs and uh, mobile resources. Two years ago, we started to develop the delivery of uh, instruction using mobile, reso uh, mobile resources with mobile devices. So we are learning how to use all this stuff, not just technically, also in educational sense. In Latin America and in Spanish-speaking countries, we have a lack of open educational resources related to how to conduct research. So we are interested to develop OER, or educational uh, open resources, to help different kind of students related to how to uh, uh, dig and look for uh, understanding on the educational problem that we have. We have a, a myriad of problems, a diversity of questions that we need to resolve. And the best way to do it is uh, educating people and educating people in the area of education and giving uh, stuff that they can use. So the best way is create OERs, follow with the OER movement so they can have it in a friendly way through the internet. Uh, the main purpose of our project is a project with seven institutions, private and public, is to uh, experiment in new technology that is an innovative, this project, that is why it's innovative, for the delivery of OERs from our repository. We already created this repository, con content repository, and uh, put together uh, with an indexed OER catalog that we already created to mobile devices. This catalog of uh, this OER catalog is not just put the OERL stuff. No, we created a real indexed catalog with metadata, and we put expertise and specialists to review it and catalog and comment on that and, and, and uh, follow uh, copyright issues, uh, licensee stuff, follow with the Creative Commons uh, rules. Well, uh, if I have opportunity and time, I would like to comment about our outcomes, best practices, difficulties, and cons uh, technological constraints. You know, when you put seven institutions together from different uh, backgrounds, private and public, and also you have to deal with paperwork, bureaucracy, uh, 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 the bosses that don't understand you, etc., it's a big challenge. However, we, we, uh, we, we think we have success because we get the money and we start working uh, uh, and create it from the ground. We don't want only to reflect on that, we want to build the bricks and put together and make the wall so we enter to this challenge to create the OERs by ourselves with copyright issues and uh, free licensing with Credit Commons stuff 
and put in this uh, content repository is brand new. It was a real interesting story of what happened to us, how to put that and connect that. And also we want to put this OER in mobile devices with open, uh, mobile uh, learning. Uh, well, this is the background of Tecnológico de Monterrey. I don't want to stop here because you, you will have the opportunity to see it in the link if you are interested on it. Uh, I already said that. Well, we use Blackboard, and we, this platform is used in a blended situation. It's for our online courses entirely at the distance, but also uh, the institution used in face-to-face in -face instruction. So the, the continual blended in our institution is big, all kind of blended situation, it happened. So, and also we incorporated the uh, uh, mobile learning stuff, so where students have their uh, mobile phones or iPads, whatever, and they can get from the internet information. So we want to put this OER to our master and doctoral students in the educational field to get the information, not only from the computer, but also through the information that we can put in this catalog that they can receive it as a news, how to, there is a new or stuff related to field work or a uh, qualitative research methodology in analyzing data, whatever. So they can have that information and go to the catalog and this catalog they redirect to the uh, uh, original source. Well, our institution want to help Mexico and uh, Spanish speaking countries and the rest of the world obviously and create this ba uh, an internet web based repository of OER and mobile resources for the instruction and development of on educational researchers at undergraduate, masters and doctoral level. Well, there is also an important need to conduct research that uh, help in our problems related to education. Give and make available methodological and epistemological tools and resources for conducting education research with rigor and care. Well, here is the link. You are invited to visit this place. And we get money from the Mexican government. We have a uh, important institution that help those and also this institution create different organization with it and there is one consortium named CUDI and this CUDI is interesting to, to give uh, fundings to develop different ways to use the internet especially internet tool, tools for communication and they give up money and say go ahead and create stuff that can help how to use this uh, internet technology to help people and uh, for instructional and educational purposes. Well, well here is, uh, we don't have internet connection, <laughs> sorry, but I put this, uh, this uh, screen and there is the, you are invited to visit and you can uh, get in and everybody can get information about our OER. We already have uh, 46 OER that we created. We expect to increment that and have more amount of OERs. Every, uh, they are in Spanish, so if you want to practice your Spanish, you can go there. Yeah. They are in different formats. They are mo mostly videos. Uh, and we create several workshops and we will train the teachers to create them and put them and later go and do research which teacher in service and say, use this for your educational purpose or you are a graduate student in master or doctoral, conduct the research, how is they are good or not they are good, so give, give us a feedback, is working or not is working, because the commitment of this funding is we have to develop this technology, but we are to create also reports and put this in books and journals, academic journals. Uh, this OER repository is part of a project that is experimenting new technology for the delivery of OER from the repository through the indexed OER catalog to mobile devices. So easy, but it's not so easy for people. We are not expert. We are educational people. So we had to deal with the technical stuff. So we had to deal, negotiate, and go and coming and going. Um, but uh, we are happy because in some way we, uh, we have success with this. And this is the other place, the catalog. You get this, everybody is in Spanish and in English, and you can have information and they give you the links where are the revised stuff in an indexed form. Well, you, I already that. The purpose is that 
to create this. And these are the institution, private and public, in a very fast way. This is the Technological Monterrey. This is my, my master, uh, my home institution. And it's private. Universidad de Montemorelos is private. Universidad de Guadalajara is uh, public. Universidad Autónoma de Yucatán is public. Itzo Tecnológico de Los Sonora is public. Universidad Autónoma de Guadalajara is public. And Institution Autónoma Metropolitana is a public institution. They are from the north to the south, from east to west of the country. So uh, uh, we had meetings through using video conferencing, Skype. We document everything in forums and websites. We want to document everything because we want to have that data to reflect on it and create more information. And especially, this we are conducting community of practice, creating information, not only OERs, also giving this information in a free way so everybody can get there and get this information to reflect or uh, uh, write stuff related to this, to this uh, project, practical and theoretically. Well, a project expected outcomes, creation and hosting a digital content repository of open educational resources and mobile resources of educational research methodology and research training. We conducted a workshop, a several workshop, documentation and management process and creation of OER and MR implementation of the project with teachers and researchers. We are in this stage right now. Research problem, we have three main research problems. What are the main issues to think on for the production and design of open educational resources and mobile resources for educational research among teachers and researchers in Mexico and Latin America? Second, how do teachers and researchers use free and open resources for educational research and research training? And third, which are the main inputs of open educational resources and mobile learning resources for the training of educational resources? So we have two main hypotheses, pretty general working hypothesis. Probably we need to work more on them. But these were the original one, initial and a working hypothesis. Well, we think that the main issues to think on for the production and design of open educational resources and mobile resources for educational research among teachers and research in Mexico and Latin America come from many venues such as theoretical background, faculty professional experience, and the mission of each in edu uh, higher education institution. So it's a lot of factors that there are when you are thinking how to design that because teachers have their own experience, different paradigms, institutional uh, demands. Second, teachers and researchers use the OER and MRs in different ways based on their theoretical perspective, course objectives, research practices, and teaching practices and institutional interests. Project results. Oh, I almost finished, so don't worry. <laughs> Project results. We, well, we um, develop def different things, not only get the money, also we need to develop the project. And it was built a project registration for it. It was our uh, first database. All the researchers and participants on the, on, on the, in the project put their information, creation on the faculty and researcher group project website. Later, we created a, a research project forum where we documented all the institutions, I can do that, and they do that. Or the other institution, I can uh, create a website using uh, free things or, or uh, open stuff like with both sites uh, using Google etc. Uh, we uh, develop a guideline for sub project. You know when the, you are conducting uh, academic research, there are different perspectives, point of view, guidelines. So our decision was respect theoretical perspective and don't get in any dilemma or fight. If you want to be quantitative, you can be quantitative. If you want to be qualitative, go ahead. If you want to be critical theory, uh, develop it. So what the important is that you are creating educational things that are going to help teachers for conducting research on problematics related to education and look for uh, solutions. Well, uh, we conduct workshops. This is one of the workshops. We also develop surveys and we record it in a videotape and put in our forum. And these are one of uh, each institution develop their own projects the researchers and our graduate students. These are free graduate students. And uh, 
they, they are in the master and doctoral programs, and each of them decided to select something related. These are uh, uh, their titles. Uh, well, we already set up the content repository link. Uh, video, uh, one of the main uh, reunions that we have, we videotape and put it in the, in the web. And we develop an application for the researchers. I forget to type, and there is, um, yeah, this is the, are the dates. This is for the research. After we develop all these activities and assignments, we send a survey uh, using SurveyMonkey, and we get a data, a data, and the data is over there and in the forum, and any of the researchers can go and there and get it. And we later uh, conduct, we are in the stage to conducting a survey with the teacher users, those who, help, uh, who are collaborating with us in, uh, in, the, in the master and doctoral programs or in undergraduate programs, developing courses. Uh, again, the project content repository, uh, it passed from different stages. The final is the, in the middle. Well, we accomplished the goal of 42 OER for MR, uh, and later we are to connect to the indexed catalog to deliver uh, this information to mobile devices. Well, my conclusion, I would like to share with you open educational resources are material which help to enrich and fortify the educational process. Also, uh, uh, this material and resources give support and make strong the teaching process itself. They are also a medium where any teacher can develop compet competencies and processes of appropriation who allows him or her go beyond their previous knowledge. The project described in this presentation had many and diverse challenges and constraints in different ways, technically, procedural, and motivational. However, any of these obstacles defeated the main goal of this educational project. It is necessary to work on the development of a culture of collaboration for young construction and communities of practice for future educational purposes, especially in the field of innovation and education. It was like in partners in an equal situation. It was not a hierarchical. And we have the hypothesis that maybe the success was because everybody feels the same. Any of the institution feels superior. Or we have the, we are international people who are coming to under, under development country. Oh, we are going to give you the knowledge. No, we don't have that philosophy. We think we are the same. So everybody have the responsibility. Each of the institutions receive the money. They had to uh, accomplish their um, obligations but in a community where we are in a same horizontal situation. The fact that seven higher education institutions in Mexico work together, putting all their forces to accomplish a common goal and help to develop this OER and um, MR educational project, it was by itself a real success. Thank you. Okay, well, originally only five institutions were accepted to receive the funds. So we opened the initiative, so other two institutions come to us and say, we want to be with you. So we accepted them, and you know when you have a lot of institutions, it starts to be a problem to hand and manage them, technically and administrative way. So we decided if there is another one coming, but no more than that. And the project is one year fund, so we, we had to finish in, at the end of November. So regardless of that, we are going to keep in the repository and we are in a new stage, developing new innovation with this repository and still creating the OER. And about the acceptance from other, yes, there are some kind of 
uh, you know, uh, I don't, I don't say jealousy, you say that? From well, Tecnológico Monterrey is private, you have fundings, why the public one saying, mm, with reservation, but regardless of that, we convinced them and because they realize that they can have access, it's for everybody, it's not only for us, and we are trying in the next stage to contact other invited people from other countries, especially from Ecuador. One of the speakers in this morning, he talked about the connection with different institutions around the world and comment about this country, Latin America, and they are developing OER stuff, and we want to contact them for their repository and collaborate with them. You, you repeat the, the first thing? Uh, how large? How, it's, is that big? I mean, how uh, big is it? The demand for mobile resources at a university level. So I'm not talking about high school. So well, because it's so new, at least in Mexico, to, uh, we launched this uh, almost two years ago. And uh, another university, public and private, start to copy us. Uh, the students start to looking for it. So, if, uh, for my point of view, is uh, the institution need to uh, start to deliver this, so the students start uh, thinking on that as an interesting thing. So, because everything was so new that we had to create the stuff for it, because it's a format specific. You cannot send a, a big stuff from the uh, mobile devices. So, we had to learn what stuff to send, how. Uh, pedagogical principles to, to use in a technological format that is a lot of, gives you constraints. So it's not a big, right now from my pain, point of view, demand, but, uh, uh, but uh, because it's, uh, 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 this information is spread around Mexico and in another institution, especially within my institution, I think it's growing because we have several campuses. We have 32 campuses around Mexico and some of our campuses is mandatory to have the devices, the, the cellular phone or the iPod. And we have plans, economical plans with cellular companies that they can get, a mo they can get a, buy the cellular stuff or is within their fees, the, the fee that they pay for tuition. So they give the devices. So I think it's growing. I don't, I don't, I don't can't tell you exactly uh, uh, quantities of how, it's, how big is in percentage related to the population over my institution. Where the idea is coming from? The idea for the project. Uh, start with us, okay. with, with our institution, with our own development and our initiative. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs>